Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Hearthstone Gameplay. I am ProXBaller706 and today we are going to be taking a look at a deck. Uh, I'll explain where the deck list came from in just a second. It's a Dragon Control deck. This is the first version of it. Might make some changes to it throughout the course of this video. It just depends on how our matchups are going on the ranked ladder. So when we're examining this deck, we look at the key features being the staples in Paladin, obviously right now the Shielded Minibot, one equality, the True Silvers, the Consecrations, um, along with the uh, Tyrion Forging for your late game powerhouse. Uh, this deck incorporates a lot of the Dragon Synergy that came out of Blackrock Mountain. We look at cards like Blackwing Technician. It's a 3 drop 2 4 that has a battle cry of if you're holding a dragon gain plus one plus one. Now holding a dragon, that's an entire new, entirely new mechanic that's been introduced to the game uh, through Black Rock Mountain. And it's a pretty cool one. It's it's new, it's exciting, it's tw twisting things up on the ladder a little bit. So we're going to use this deck to get a take uh, or get a feel for how it works on the uh, constructed ladder. This is the first day of the season 14. Um, it's May 1st, obviously. So we'll play some games with it, we'll talk about it, and uh, we'll see how it performs. The, the rest of the deck is pretty self-explanatory. Um, we do run a Rend Black Hand, just for the sake of this video is focusing on the holding a dragon uh, kind of concept, and this is one of the cooler effects. It's a 7-drop, 8-4 battle cry. If you're holding a dragon, destroy a legendary minion. So it's very situational, very, very situational, but it could be clutch, and I like that aspect of it. So credit for this deck goes to... Imperion, who is a fellow Hearthstoner and uh, content creator who contacted me. He's actually a writer and has a website, HearthstoneChampion.com, and he approached me after watching some of my Hearthstone Top Deck series to, uh, to create uh, YouTube content for his website. So we are now in a partnership doing that, helping each other uh, promote what we've got going on, and I'm really excited about it. I think the future could hold some great things. If it takes off properly and there's going to be a link down in the bottom left hand corner here if you would like to go visit the website it's again hearthstonechampion.com and i'll put an annotation in the bottom left throughout the duration of this video uh, for you to click on so please go check it out give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it a subscribe if you like what you see and uh, let's get right into the games fight with all, all right guys in game one we are going up against the rogue this is an okay opening hand. I would prefer to have some shielded mini bot or zombie chow action. Or Aldor Peacekeeper is also good. Uh, Chromagus and anti kill bot. Not the best, but since we are focusing on the holding a dragon concept here, Chromagus actually ends up being pretty good because we are going to be holding a dragon for most of this game. Uh, we're going to take it slow here, not coin hero power because 99.9% .9 of the time that might not be the right thing to do. Not saying it's always the right, not saying it's always the wrong thing to do, but sometimes that can be uh, frowned upon. That coin can be very valuable. All right, so he's just going to weapon up here, and he's going to hit face. Which, okay, depending on the skill of the player, when a rogue weapons and hits face, it generally means they don't have a turn to play. Um. This is susceptible to backstab, but I'm going to throw it out. It means they usually don't have a turn three play, and they're just going to re-weapon. So, we will pass on over and see if that is the case or not. Alright, so he weapons and then backstab with these here. If he has it. Okay, no backstab, so that's really good for us, actually. And I think, I'm not really scared of an AoE. He could have... No, he couldn't have done anything, so he might have a fan of knives, which would be really bad, but I guess if he's going to have it, he's going to have it, right? So we'll start putting a little bit of pressure on. Fan of knives here is uh, excellent for him. But we have some pretty decent plays to follow um, that up, So, and we actually have another muster for battle as well. Okay, no fan. That was uh, That's really good for us. Rep. Ha, this guy's Sorry, uh, okay. Makes sense. In a this face? Okay. So he's trying to get us a little bit low on HP here. Uh, not a big deal. The battle! If we just play our volcanic Drake here. This is actually a really good uh 
There's, yeah, we gotta kill that. Alright, so this is actually a really good version of this deck, and I like the muster for battle with the Volcanic Drake. Sorry, I had to think about that for a second. Um, you could basically create a little suicide squad of minions to go in, have them on the board, and if you get them to, to where you can trade them into their minions, then you have a 6-4 potentially for very little mana. Okay, so he did have a pretty efficient way of dealing with it. He is going to take 6 damage, though, and we only pay, what, 3 mana for that? So 3 mana, 6 damage, that's that's pretty good. And we are just going to True Silver here. Let's get rid of this uh, Azure Drake. Uh, True Silver Champion is the bane of Azure Drake's existence in most cases. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to coin Hero Power here. I think I do. Um, I didn't have another great play for the coin coming up. I can drop Sylvanas turn, uh, turn 6 straight up if I want to. We have the True Silver here, so he's got to be careful about dropping minions on the board or having to pay for it. We actually have him pretty low here, too. He's around 18 health. So considering this is a control deck, we're in a pretty good spot. I don't think rogues have a lot I of ways wonder. to deal with Romagus. He could, they could sap him, which would be most likely. So he's going to prep sprint here. That's a uh, very popular combo nowadays. He's just going to weapon up and take out our guy. Uh, we don't even run Quartermaster in this deck, so it's not really that big of a deal to us. We use Muster to, as, a, as an engine to activate our cards, like Solemn Vigil, for example. Draw two cards, cost one less for uh, each minion that died this turn. So I think I'm just going to play Sylvanas and see I if I can no get a sap out of his hands. Or at least get him to burn resources taking uh, care of that card. Pay attention, class. Zap makes sense here. Max step is gonna kill it. I am ready to learn. He uses another eviscerate on that. That's a big deal. Deadly poison. Okay. He takes five damage. He's at twelve. And we're actually gonna get. Oh, we have a chance to get Violet Teacher. That would be uh, really huge, actually. I don't think he did that right. Oh wow! Well, there you go, folks. I'll teach you. Okay, what can we do here? Uh, he's pretty low. I feel like I can just go face and... So, I'm gonna put the pressure on here. So that puts him uh, down to 5 health, and he doesn't have much he can do. And we have the uh, 6 drop. Pro Magus coming out thanks to our Dragon Consort. This card I absolutely love. I don't know why. I like the art on it. I just think it's a fun effect. There's a, a lot of cool synergies going on. You can make some pretty cool plays with this guy for sure. And I like it. It's a battle cry, so even if he gets killed, the turn he gets played, he gets to... Uh, that effect carries over until you play a dragon, so... So it's, it's a pretty neat card. Alright, so he's going to eviscerate that. That's really good. So he's got both drakes down. He's in a bad situation here. I really don't know what he can do. Two health. He's gonna have to trade his entire board out. Yeah, so that's game actually. So, uh, GG. I guess that was oil road, but he never got his, uh, his oil card. So, uh, good game one. Uh, we'll move right on into the next game. Hey, we're on a win streak. Look at that. And, uh, we'll get, uh, right into game two. Alright, we got Rogue number two. I've seen a lot of Rogues on the ladder today. Day one of the season, anything can happen, you know. Um, True Silver is okay to keep here. Very much so okay. It's good against Mech Rogue, it's good against Oil Rogue. So we're, we're going to be okay. Turn one, let's see if he has any plays. He does not. Okay, so we are just gonna pass it right back on over to him. We don't really have any plays to be made either. <clears throat> Alrighty, weapons up. I'm gonna start this one much like I started the last one, I feel like. Reporting Hero procedure. power. See what he decides to do. I guess the logical thing based on what I know is the uh, the uh Silver hand through with his weapon. Which he chose to do. Okay, so he auto barbered 
So it's mech rogue, okay. Well now we know, right? For justice. That was a uh, interesting play. He way overextended in the consecration there. Not way overextended. Thank God I didn't have to use the consecration there. Uh, the AOE is going to be very valuable, especially considering we have the equality as well. All right, so this turn looks like a peacekeeper into a uh, zombie chow. A peacekeeper this so I get a net heal. For justice. Get rid of the mech and get rid of that bonus effect. Oh, spell damage. That's not good. Okay, well, we'll hold out and see what happens. That's really bad. Backstab wrecks this thing now. Well, what was I gonna do? That was really lucky for him. Oh, well, it's part of the game, you know? This guy's toast. Okay, well. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's gonna hit with the weapon. That makes more sense for him, actually. I think it's important to just put a decent sized body on the board here. Really would like to draw into some uh, AoE effect. There's a lot of cards here that would probably be good next turn. If assuming he goes face with everything. He could combo and eviscerate and kill that. That's really bad. Hey pal, trade Alright, trade wicks. About to get real shenanigans. So he's gonna get inequality at some point, I guess. really have any good way to deal with that. I wonder. I could play this and the black one. Yeah, let's just do that. Uh, that's just really bad altogether. That's this is not looking good. That's gonna to be tough to we have to top deck the consecration or some way to deal one damage to that. There's actually a lot of ways to do it. I could, like I have uh Zombie Chow, I could do muster for battle after a quality. That's not ideal because it'll be taking five to the face and he would gain a muster for battle. Hmm. Looks like he's trying to clear the three five here. I think he has some plan for that. Weapon deadly poison. Hello, hello, hello. He's just gonna get, oh, he's gonna trade there. Something needs tinkering? Okay, yeah, it's basically consecration or bust. That's what it's looking like anyway. Just this is just not very good. He's got 9, 10, 11 damage. I mean, he could kill me next turn. Probably. He hasn't used any of his raids yet. So we'll have to just see and hope. I didn't get any of my AoE effect there. Or my uh, Blackwing uh, Corruptor. Is he trying to trade? What lurks? Ooh, Skulker. There you go. So now he just decides to face. I don't really understand that. That's fine. Again, this is consecration or best. Quality consecration in the game. Oh my god. Thank goodness. I know that gave him an equality and a consecration, so we have to be really careful. But I think that was... That's, I, mean, I had to do that. That was literally my only... My only option there. So 
He's got a quality consecrate. We know that. That's not a huge deal, especially with Tyrion. He with Tyrion withstands that combo pretty well. So we actually have a chance here, theoretically. But he probably has what he needs. We know he has consecration. Okay. We know he has. A, well, why didn't he equality first? I wonder. He must have lethal. This rate. Well, it's got to be this rate, right? Oh no. We took, oh. Okay. Put your faith in the light. All right, no sap, and uh, we could win this game. Sap, we lose this game, most likely. We'll be at one health based on what I know. What? Oh my God, he doesn't have it. Okay, we have a chance. He's gonna go down to ten. It's not a good chance. We have to draw a sledge. Wait, what? Battle. Reporting for duty. He gets rid of Tyrion, he can hit me for six. Don't test me, child. It's gonna be the same either way, right? Boom boom. I think we just gotta put the pressure on and hope he can't kill us next turn. That uh anti kill bot was nice. I think we might come back and win this game. Alright, so we got a 5 drop weapon. 5 3. He got a Dark Iron Dwarf, that's fine. So he's, we're gonna go down to 8. Yeah, he can't kill us this turn. We win! We win next turn. Never mind, oh my god. Uh, Consecration actually still wins us the game. And, uh,. Corruptor, Blackwing Corruptor wins this game as well. Oh, that's a long way to come to just lose straight up. Well, we haven't lost yet. I know we have. We have to clear this Dark Iron Door. So this is the way we take the least amount of damage here. We have to do this. He's got six damage, five damage. So we live with two health at this point, and we have Chromagus out. So if he has, he might have the lethal cards in his hand. This was a great game either way. Uh, very well played by him so far, as far as I can tell, anyway. If he can't deal with this, though, we win pretty much. It just depends on what he has. Okay, he could not win that turn. That's good for us. Freezing is going to be really nice here. All right, so we went face. We got to get a sludge belcher here. Would be That's also pretty good. All right, this is the last turn of the game. Either way, and I don't foresee a way it couldn't be. Anyways. Epic game. Absolutely epic. Well, like I said, either way, this has been good. Oh my god. I think we've got it. Yeah, he can't kill us. I don't think he can kill us. That's game. Oh, wow. I thought we would lost that one for sure. Very well played, though. Seriously. That was, that was a fun game. Alright, wait. We uh, won again, so there you go. Let's go uh, right on into the third and final game. All right, everyone. The third and final game of this Hearthstone Champion video is going to be against a Warlock. I like the Zombie Chow right off the bat. Very, very nice to have, especially with Demon Zoo being so prevalent. This is an amazing start. If This could go very well, potentially. Uh, we're just going to Chow on turn one. Very good turn one play. I greet you. In control decks well such met. as this one, the zombie chow is so valuable because the five health of uh, healing it gives them is really not that big of a setback because we're just trying to control the board more so than go to his face. Okay, that's going to trade very well. Oh, two of them. Okay, that's fine actually because we're going to have the Peacekeeper 
follow up, and we have the shield bot for this turn, so we'll go ahead and kill off one of these. So, unfortunately, that ended up working out pretty well for him because he got the two flame in essentially for free, but we're going to kill them pretty efficiently. So, the idea here would be shield and mini bot trade. Okay, it's not going to be the idea, unfortunately. Oh, consecration is going to be amazing. We're going to make that a uh, non issue. Do I have any reason to hit now? Weapon ready. It's because I want it to be at two health for the It would have been anyway. I didn't have a reason to do that. Maybe a slight play mistake there. But I don't think he has any interest in trading. Just hope he drops a good creature that we're going to get some value out of killing. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Yep. Face, face. All right. He, uh, this is a classic example of overextending into the consecration that's uh, amazing for us it's very big so we shut down all of his momentum and all of his tempo and we have a 3-3 on the board which can trade effectively with most of the creatures in the zoo deck alright we're gonna be polite and say thank you Thank you. alright I'm just gonna loathe up here because that's actually just a really good play to five probably doesn't have a spell anyway so we'll get a big body on the board that can trade chances are he's going face here anyway although it's very good to trade the three Put three the on your head. and he has no intention of doing so yes he did okay that was the right play there that's just that's just a better play anyway i guess the dream here is to draw another consecration get in there and fight maggot Okay, well, Iron Beak's not great, unfortunately. I don't know how important his juggles are. The end is okay, we'll take it. So he's going to probably trade into that. We have a true. We got a good draws off of that. I'd, I'd say that was the right play. I don't know if five damage to the face was right. If I had another consecration in hand, it's obviously. My shield for Argus. Here comes where he kind of stabilizes and gains go back. Not good for us, but at least we have a really good target for the uh, Iron Beak Owl here. I don't want to give him the Sludge Belcher so free. It's a really good trade for him. I wonder if it's how bad it is the quality of the 5 2 and then Hero Power again. I think that's actually pretty good. And we have Sludge Belcher for the next turn on a much less threatening board, as far as I can tell. Actually, we might just go Tyrion, because I don't. Think he'll have anything to do about that. Taps down to 17. Three cards in hand. We're in a pretty good spot, I think. Explosion. Consecration. There we go. Alright, so that's good. We're in, a, we're in a pretty good spot. We're just going to drop Tyrion here. The battle. Put your in the light. Chances are he can't get through it efficiently. Following that up with the Sludge Belcher, True Silver turn is uh, very strong. The light protects me. Power overwhelming. Still one damage short of killing it. Yeah, that's probably power overwhelming. So remember that. Probably a power overwhelming there. He thought about it, but wait, math is hard. One damage off. Still, that'd be a four attack minion. And he's gonna tap it down again. I'm just gonna face with Tyrion. Is he gonna do it anyway? Oh, he might have drawn into a mortal coil. Oh, elven archer, you sly. Now, we actually obviously are not going to true silver here because we would negate our own good effect. We're just going to drop into our, our minions and just go face. He has nothing to get through the Sludge Belcher right now. And we're at 16 health, which is not really low. Uh, considering the amount of heals we have with the true silver and the lay on hands, would you run one lay on hands in this deck? 
Um, so thoughts on the deck list here in the final game. I don't feel like it really needs any changes. I think it's a fun deck for low ranks, like first day of the season, climb with it. I think there's uh, certainly a lot of potential there for, uh, some, for some fun plays. So. I uh, have really enjoyed playing it so far. Okay. Question is, do I kill off the Doom Guard? Let's see, he has 10 damage. He'll draw one card. Hmm. No, I, I think have I no just killed the one one. Because then I win next turn. He has nine. He can't. I don't think he can get into seven damage. Weapon. Obviously, the nightmare is Malganeth, I guess, if it's what he drew. But I think we just win. Because I thought of all the ways he could lethal me down one power overwhelming. I don't foresee it happening. No, I don't think you can clear my board. Yep, good game. Okay. At least now we know. And uh, we went 3-0 and with this deck. That's a, that's good. That's a great start. I know we're at a low rank, and I don't know how good these players are. Oh, we got to drop. Oh, he just surrendered. Okay. Well, regardless, great, fun deck to play. Um, it just switches it up. It's creative. It's uh, It's new. It's exciting. So please, guys, if you have a minute, check out HearthstoneChampion.com. There's some great informative articles there about what's good in the meta, some interesting deck lists, and a lot more content to come. It's just a startup right now. Uh, it's going to grow in the future, and the, uh, the owner, creator, Imperion, has a lot of good plans for it in the future. So check them out if you got time. Thanks again for watching this video, and uh, have a good day.